Yeah, we'll start here at the end of the score version. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 33 Gauntlet. In today's episode, we re entered with reflection that composing and performing presentations have many similarities to music composing and performing. For example, they can be impromptu, they can and or they can be you know very rehearsed what whichever way it's being done um, proper prior preparation prevents this poor performance not to include spelling things correctly pardon our French preparation so that may sound obvious and perhaps it is. However, the point is that we're spending a lot of time in this series composing music, and we're also spending a lot of time doing videos and uh, 3D platform work and, and combining the music and combining that with the video and doing other stuff and, and making presentations while we're at it, including some musicals. So we continue to gain insights from the one activity that feed into the other and from the other into the music. Um, we also reflected on the tools can both help and constrain us, like paper and pencil drawing versus computer. But if you have a touch screen, you can do a lot more, blah, 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 blah. So the, the key thing, I guess, relative to our composition is whether we are seeing it in part or overall, um, it will more or less always be telling us where it wants to go if we simply listen. Um, anyway, that's how we feel about it. And every time that we finish something, it gives us energy to move forward. E even something as simple as getting good, gooder at video editing. So what we did is we kept working with Improvisation 3. You just heard the newish, newest ending of it. We added, um, what did we do? We shaped the dynamics. So for example, there's a lot more of uh, crescendoing in here so it builds up to a part instead of just launching into it we also uh, edited some of the uh, crispness of the notes like these cadence notes are now eighth notes instead of quarter notes and they're crisper We also added pizzicato, I mean staccato to the pizzicato to the violin. And it really stands out. So so the, the timbre, we should really say we shaped not only the dynamics, we, we shaped the timbres uh, as well. Look at that. We did that. Yes, we did. We're going to play the whole thing for you in a minute. But you remember, this is extending the idea of not, not just the composition as a macro entity, but the, the how each note sounds and how it uh, comes across is also part of our, our scope now of composition. Um, and finally, we took these segues and we expanded them. Basically, we we had, we we tripled them, and we used the, the the mezzo and baritone voices to kind of complete or lead into the next fast part. So we did all, and we restructured the ending so it's a little more solid. And we and you heard that. Then then we said, well, we're going to animate it. We're going to animate it. And then we decided that it turned out that the the um, the MIDI animation looked pretty darn good. So we're going to, sh what we ended up doing was uh, using our traditional MIDI uh, version. And um, we're going to show that to you. We're going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it here. Like a dot. And that should take us home. So here we go.
So that concludes today's stream. What we really like about this is how um, we... Uh, uh, no more looping. No, 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 no. We're done. Done. Okay. We like that... Um, we, we actually shaped the tempo, too. We changed tempos quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit. So we really need to give credit for that. We, dynamics, tempos, timbres. We extended the segues. We adjusted the parts for effect, uh, including building an end. And you'll notice that in that near the end there, you may have noticed that it... Um, it got faster and faster, which builds energy, but what, but it got a little bit louder. And it was the same part, just repeat it, but by making it faster and then gradually louder, uh, it, it still came across as different. Anyway, we like doing that. So ideas for next time, we're going to share this work with our open mic today. Uh, look at some carry forward ideas from previous streams we haven't got to yet, and our good old friend, To Be Determined. Shout outs to KRXZFN and Moosh. So tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.